Welcome back everybody to Quadrant Part 3. It's been a fantastic game so far. Let's continue and uh, like I said last time, let's try not to die. Blood. Shit. Okay. Right, let's see if we can find some more fuses. There we go. Think of the positives. Think of the positives. Ignore the negatives. Can we have a look at that? No. No, no. Lots of reports and stuff. There seems to be loads of things in desks that I can't actually interact with or can't open, if you know what I mean. Very odd. There's a projector there. What we got? Another confidential analysis and test results, it seems. New rock specimens have been received. As of yesterday, June 18th, 1979. Over the course of 24 hours, selected samples have shown an increase in size, approximately 15% when exposed to terrestrial air. One specimen in particular appears to have various magnetic attributes, somehow pulling objects closer, even if the objects themselves contain no magnetic characteristics. Right? That's a bit worrying. Are we, what, are we talking like telekinesis or something? Maybe. No, I don't want to hit the desk. I don't want to hit the desk. The desk didn't do anything to me. Okay, um... Let's see. Specimen 13A. There's... Or, or is that... Is that I3A? It might be I3A. I'm hoping there's not 13. Bloody hell. It should also be noted that upon further testing, the subject... There you go. Telekinetic abilities! In an aggression study, several rats were killed from hard matter impacts. Inflicted as the subject, strapped in a static position, flung various objects placed around the perimeter of the chamber towards the rats. Okay, there's lots of redacted information here, penciled out and everything, but blah blah blah. We'll now proceed with genetic testing on all other subjects, blah blah blah, or anomalies regarding this finding. That's worrying. So it's it's pissed off. <laughs> Alright, let's see, where are we going? Are we going this way? Apparently not, we can only use the handle, okay. Can we still, can we cycle through? Yeah, we can cycle through them all. So that's, that's, they're the ones we found. Okay, the one we just saw, I guess, doesn't get added to it because you didn't actually find the slide and we didn't pull it out. Oh, there's more blood there. I didn't notice that. Where's it going? That way. Oh, shit, that's a vent. It's not open, though. It's not open. Okay, all right. Let's see. In here? In here, apparently. Might be another report. Okay, yep. Let's have a look at it. Not confidential. To William Hill. I've gotten word from researchers in Quadrant 3. The specimens are showing signs of life, movement, awareness, even partial understanding. They're learning, Will. What we found, what humanity has found, will change the way we view the universe forever. Such a huge stride for humankind was inevitable. We've been looking for so long. Here's what we've been searching for. The first signs of intelligent extraterrestrial life. And I bet you now wish you didn't find it in the first place. <laughs> Is that another fuse? Yep, yeah, I haven't found a fuse in a while. Oh, bloody door in the way. There we go. Close it. There we are. Really? You fat bastard. There we go. Yeah, another fuse. It must be on like 25, 30 or something like that. Far too many. Far too many. Okay. What about the other desks? Can we have a look at the other ones? <laughs> I'm just trying to sort of dilly-dally around so I don't have to go into the, uh, to the vent. I'm sure that's where we need to go. Oh, why does everyone lock their shit? Oh, come on. What about you? Crap. Alright, here we go. Deep breaths. Again, no blood streaks. It's looking good. It's just a matter of time before we see this thing. Was that the specimen, or was that, like, Jamie screaming for help again? There's a fuse. So many fuses in the vents, what's going on? They really do feel like collectibles, but they're, like, usable collectibles. It's kind of cool. Alright. Another, uh, another lamp room, by the looks of it. Okay, lots more desks. All of which being locked, probably. Sons of bitches, okay. What the hell was that?! Was it, the, was it the light blowing out or something? What the fuck was that? Okay. 
It might be on the floor above me, or in the uh, in the vents above me, or something. If so, it's small, it's strong, it's heavy, but it's quick. Jesus, that came out of nowhere. I gotta be honest, the um the jump scares that I've been experiencing so far, they're not as irritating as most other games. I don't know why, they, they feel earned at the moment. Feels like it's leading up to a big reveal, which is going to happen at some point. And when it does happen, I don't know if this is going to be any use, <laughs> but I'm keeping hold of it anyway. I think there's another document over there. All right, let's have some more uh, backstory, some more exposition. Another confidential document. Specimen interaction. Okay. We have continued interaction with our working samples. Awareness is now present. Various specimen life is undeniable. We've continued to categorize each specimen by shape and limb count. However, we have not been able to clearly define size, as each sample continues its growth. Okay. So maybe it's different things we're hearing, I don't know. That one sounded heavy, like really fucking heavy. Um, several of the hexapedal and quadrupedal species show sluggish but perceptive awareness. It is our belief the subjects are adapting to our terrestrial atmosphere, quite rapidly. We expect communication to be a reality within several days. That'll be good. So when you scream, oh no, don't fucking kill me, it knows what you're talking about. Yeah, all of these appear to be locked. Okay, uh, are we going through there? Probably not. It's going to be another one of these brown doors where, yeah, the handle. <laughs> that shocked me to my core, that one. Alright, what we got here? Okay, let's try this way. There's lights this way, they're flickering. Oh, come on! What are these things anyway? I've seen a couple of these. I, I thought they might be windows, but we're like, we're underground, right? And these aren't curtains, so I don't really know. Oh, okay. This is looking like a dead end, but it's not a dead end without any sort of reward. Now, if I was designing this game, I would put something terrifying behind me right now. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't think alike. As you might have noticed, I'm... I'm not running everywhere, and it's not just to conserve my stamina. It's, um... It's about the, the sort of volume of my footsteps. I want to make sure I'm sneaking around as quietly as I can. Even if you crouch, it seems you still make these footsteps. But when you run, it is a little bit louder. Come on! What the hell? Oh my god. Did the floor fall down or something? There's blood. Oh shit. Alright. Oh yeah. Definitely keeping the flashlight on. Definitely. What happened here? Again, this wasn't anything to do with the evacuation. People don't push over bookshelves because of that. I had a completely different reason for wanting to get out. And I'm sure that reason is somewhere close by, hiding in a vent, probably watching me right now. Another fuse. <laughs> so, another locked door, probably. Yeah, okay. Fuse acquired, though. Fuse acquired. Uh, must have about 30 now. I haven't seen a fuse box in ages either. I've got far too many. Alright, in we go. Okay, what's this? What's this? It's another slide! Is there a projector around here? I guess I could go- or oh, could I go back? Maybe, I don't know. Hopefully there's another one like ahead. Hang on. I'm seeing a screen, so there's usually a projector next to it, so that's good. Okay, where are we going then? Oh, duck, and under we go. I see, I see. God, I'm nervous. It's a bit of a shame we can't peek in this game, really, because I would be using it pretty much all the time. Hang on, another one. Hey, all right. That looks like we've got two new projector slides to have a look at. Shit. Okay. Another safe. Is it full of... Wait, let me guess. Fuses? Yeah. 
<laughs> Always seem to be four as well. I wonder if there's any more collectibles than fuses. Maybe it's just that. Okay, let's uh, let's plug them in. Uh, oh god, what's this? That looks like some sort of surgery. Okay, that's pretty disgusting. What about the what about the next one? Uh, no, we've seen that one. That's it. It's a spider? It's a pretty big looking spider as well. Holy fuck. Maybe a spider with opposable thumbs? That's how it threw the cleaner at me earlier? <laughs> Alright, spider. That's cool. Yeah, that, that makes sense actually because uh, Jamie said, like, uh, at the end of the first video, it sounds like footsteps but different. It's the tapping of the legs on the floor. Okay, alright. <laughs> This is, there's another one! There's another one! Plug it in, plug it in, come on! Okay, so it's that one again. Yep. There you go, different angle. Same thing, right? Yeah, there's not really a scale, but I'm, I'm fairly sure it's pretty big. Like, I can fit through a vent. <sighs> okay, spiders. I'm actually okay with that. I'm actually okay with that. Restore power to the elevators. That is... that's my mission. Okay, uh, let's, let's go right. I was... yeah, this is the door we saw through earlier, isn't it? Okay, okay. Yeah, the floor just collapsed in on itself. It really does feel like one of these specimens is huge. And heavy. And that is a dark corridor. Let's stay away from that. All these lifts? These are the elevators? <laughs> Fuses. Maybe all the fuses I've been acquiring are, are going to be used to uh, to get all these back up and running. Another one? My god. Yeah, the elevator power's off. Okay, so where's the fuse box? There's no, like, cable coming out of the, uh... Coming out of the door or anything like that. I'm guessing it's there somewhere. Or maybe to the right in the dark corridor. I don't know. Let's see. In we go. Flashlight on. Spiders. Spiders. Yeah, I, I, I'm actually okay with spiders. I, It could be worse, in my opinion. Could be worse. I haven't actually run into one yet, though, so... <laughs> maybe I just don't know what I'm getting myself into quite yet. Did nobody use doors the way they were meant to be used in here? Christ. No. We use these? No. Okay. I haven't had too much luck with drawers lately. I will keep trying, though. Bloody hell. What have we got here? Okay, let's try these ones. No. This is complex as hell. Oh, no, 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 no. Where is this going now? Are these two different rooms? No, they're not. Okay. More computers. This one's on. I can't engage with it, though. Uh, any more notes? No, no. Whole lot of nothing. Okay. Keeps going, though. <laughs> I thought I saw something in the corner there. There we go. Exploration has been rewarded, sort of. I've got far too many fuses. I've got fuses for days. Fuses for weeks. Fuses for fucking months, I think. Oh, okay. Can we close this door? No, we can't. Okay. So this is where they keep the projector screens and everything? And all the projectors? And someone didn't like the slide they were showing. We got any slides in here? Mm, I guess the slides wouldn't be kept in the same place, necessarily. Not necessarily. There's a whole lot of nothing around this office, apparently. What about that one? I feel I have to check. No, never mind. All right. Uh. Okay, so that's where I came from. Yeah, uh, yeah, just back in the same corridor. This way it is, then. What's this? Big hallway. Right. Oh, God. That's a nice little feature I just figured out. <laughs> So we can zoom in just a little bit. So this is this is like a canteen area, just like a, a bigger version of the one we saw before. Alright, where are we going? Left? Right? 
Straight ahead? I think straight ahead. Something's telling me those doors just won't work. That background music is making me so anxious. It's only very slight. And there's another bloody views down there. No specimens in here? Good. Is that a fuse box of some kind? I've got the right equipment if that's the case. So this is the kitchen, so you keep the fuse boxes right next to all the, the kitchen supplies. Okay, alright, I can't see any danger in that. Oh fuck, okay, right, so let's see. Uh, elevator hall 2, that's gotta be the one back there, right? So, fill them all up. Okay. One, third one, fourth one, fifth one. Yep. Light is still red. Okay, where's it connecting to? It goes to... This one? I can't open it. Fuck. Um, hang on. Maybe I can bash it open? Nope. Hang on. Do I have, like, overload codes for it? Have they changed or something? Is it... No. No. Am I ever going to use that again, I wonder? I'm fairly sure that light is meant to be green. These ones? Oh, hang on. Up. They're the same. Up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so let's try that. So up, down, up, down. Up. Take elevator! Yes! Yes, okay. Here we go then. Not missing out on anything in the kitchen, am I? No documents. Nothing like that. No diary pages. No more fuses. I don't think so. You know, as I said earlier, the devil's in the details, and I think there's a few details missing here, like plates and food. It's just a bit weird. Well, I know I can go. Ah! Did you just see what I saw? That was a spider, I think, and it was big. It was like the size of the door. Right, okay. <laughs> Let's try these doors here. Fuck, alright. Other side, other side, quickly, quickly. Very quickly. Alright, I've got my flashlight ready. If it does attack, I can attack it right back. Shit, okay. There it is. There it is. Look at the size of that thing, seriously. No wonder it's bashing down doors. It can't get through a single door. Fuck, it's, it's gone into that sort of dark office area. Should we just make a break for it? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, God! Oh, fuck! Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's not easy, is it? It's not easy. I'm going to have to go through. There's only one way through now as well. Everything was rather linear through here. Oh, that music. Oh, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> okay, okay. Come on now, come on. Jump. Over we go. Okay. <laughs> up and over. Up and over. Oh, god damn. Quick, quick, run. Quick, keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running. Oh, don't run out of stamina now. I'm already puffed out. Keep going, keep going. So, it went left and then right. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think at least I can outrun it. It doesn't seem to be as fast as um, whatever whatever we saw coming out of the vents. There's no way it could fit in the vent. There must be another specimen. Okay, so this way. Is this the corridor? Yes, yes it is. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Come on. I did pretty well, actually. It didn't run out of breath as fast as I thought I would. Okay, here we go. Where are we going? Oh shit! Ah! Come on! Oh damn, that did not sound good. What's going on? Did it break the elevator? Kind of sounds like it. That's it, probably roaring away to its other specimen friends that it knows where I am. All of which being locked, probably. Sons of bitches. Okay. Wait, let me guess. Fuses? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we've seen that one. 
That's it. Right. Oh god. That's a nice little feature I just figured out. <laughs> well, I know I can go. Oh! Did you just see what I saw? Should we just make a break for it? Let's go. Let's go. Oh god! Oh, fuck! Oh, that music. Oh, oh. Fucking hell! Oh. 